So I wanted to give you a tour of my barn. Um, let's take a walk outside. I've got to put horses up and hang out with the dogs. There's also something else I wanted to show you, which is a little surprise. Stokies and the Canadians and the Mallards. There you go. I wanted to show you that way is to the house, but if I can turn around 180 degrees. And that's the main road up there where that white car is. If you ever get the chance to see the biggest little farm, which is a wonderful movie, this is my Todd. This right here is my Todd. Say hi, Todd. This is Smokey. And he is getting up there in age, and he is a wonderful dog. He is a Border Collie mix. He's curly hair, as long as you can see. He's curly hair. He's a happy dog, though. Got a bunch of happy dogs here. Happy, happy, happy dogs. All right, you ready, Miss Camera Shy? Not. Mm hmm. Come on, let's go up the house. Up the house. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work around the house this spring. This whole front area right here that you see. Hopefully we'll turn into a herb garden along with some onions and potatoes and some garlic. I'm going to make some boxes because I don't want to mow anymore. This walkway is really a funny looking walkway, which means that you have to take your lawn mower in here without cutting your blades up. And mow it down. So instead, I plan on putting some raised beds there and eliminating that problem. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to make, I mean, not how, but the sizes and all that I'm going to make the beds. So this is going to be an interesting project for me. I don't know whether I'm going to square off and come over this sidewalk area. And then do the same thing over here. And we'll take a tour of the backyard. Uh, HVAC. And you can see we have some wood and a wonderful fire pit. We have natural stone around the farm. And then of course my garden. Which will be bigger. This is the only piece of plastic that I've had. You do what you can with what you got. So I've managed to pull it a few feet out of here so if we have to mow, we can mow around here. But I'm planning on putting some more raised beds around. Um, I may pull it out a little further and put my greenhouse, which is those four pallets right there and plus some more, and I plan on putting it back there, although Greg suggested that I put it here and go across the tree line this way, but I think that it's going to block the sun because as I face this garden, this is north. This right here goes down into a ravine and I was thinking about maybe squash and cantaloupe and watermelon and pumpkin. Be a good place to grow some viney stuff all along there. We should have plenty of room. Maybe a quarter of an acre or an eighth of an acre right there and then I'll grow that down there. That'd be pretty cool. I just plan on putting it right on the edge and just let it grow downward. Because right now it's, it, there's a wash. It starts in the corner here and there's a wash 
and it rains and it goes down into that tree down there which is really cool all right let's go take the dogs in they seem to be running out of some light this is the back of the house cute little house there are two fireplaces I do want to make a note. This tree. This tree. We think is probably post Civil War. Pre Civil War. Post, listen to me. Pre Civil War. You cannot wrap your arms around this tree. It's probably four and a half feet wide. It's a pretty big tree. I'm not even standing at the trunk. I'm about a foot and a half away from the trunk. There's the trunk. Okay. And as you can see, it's pretty big. So, we have a very, very, very big tree. They say that if you wrap a band around it or a measuring tape and find out what the circumference of it is, the diameter, It'll tell you pretty much giving a guesstimate on how old it is. There's the garage. This is the back of the house. There's our little tiny porch with all its leaves on it. And the Bella 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 Bella. She's in every shot, isn't she? Alright. Thanks for watching.